Right. We showed her a photo of this missing girl, and she agreed to take the case for 400 bucks. But I think it's solvable. But what Lori didn't know was that the photo our producer gave her was actually a childhood photo of me. And obviously, I'm very much alive. I don't believe she's, she's alive. I'm sorry, I believe that it was a violent passing. The next day, McQuarrie sat down for an interview with me to talk about the work of psychic detectives. I just had a gentleman in yesterday. 30 years ago, his sister disappeared. She soon began talking about a recent case, but clearly her psychic abilities didn't tell her that I was the girl in the picture. So you will always know yes. when you talk to a family member, when you start a case, you'll know if this person is dead yes. or alive. And that's the point, is that Every I... time. But apparently her psychic abilities didn't see this coming. Lori, I'm going to show you something. Oh, yes. Does this girl look familiar to yeah, you? Yes, she does. I worked this case. This is a girl who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. This little girl is me. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Do you believe in psychics? Okay, I, you know, I mean, I don't really. But the reason that I did this story wasn't to bust somebody or to embarrass somebody. It was because there are a lot of so-called psychic detectives out there that are charging uh, traumatized parents in order to try to find their children. And in the history of law enforcement, they have never solved a missing child case with a psychic detective. So we were trying to prove a point, and um, so we did a sting, we went undercover, um, you saw the rest of the investigation, and at the end, yes, it's bananas, and I uh, was not expecting her reaction. But the point of the story really was for us all to remember that there are people out there targeting real victims of crime real people who have gone through trauma, and it's our job as journalists to shine a light on that wrongdoing, and that is why I'm an investigative reporter.